Hello everyone, this is The Overthinker, and welcome back to the channel. Now today is that news uh, finally dropped about the Lions releasing Theo Riddick. Um, not a surprise to me as um, it was reported that he was probably one of the cap casualties for the Lions. He was one of the only players that we could really realistically cut to save some money. Um, and it was looking like he probably would have been a third or fourth string running back anyway. Um, and considering the position he has played for the Lions um, in terms of his his role in the offense um it did it didn't really look like he was going to have that same role going forward um so it kind of made sense to cut him now i guess the, this might be an actual surprise to some people uh that might not watch the lines the whole time that might just see his stats you know he has had over let me see here yes yeah, so since 2014 he has actually had over 300 yards um in every season um and i believe he's the only running back that has achieved that um, in terms of receiving yards um, so yeah there's probably a lot of people um, that might not be specifically Lions fans kind of wondering well why would you cut the guy you know he's not really making that much money um, and I think the real reason for that is when he's on the field uh, defenses don't really have to respect his ability to run the ball because um, he doesn't have great vision um, he doesn't do a very good job at getting through the line a lot of times he'll get the ball uh, and get tackled in the backfield when there's you know when there's a decent hole there for him to just kind of take off and yeah so that really does limit his ability in this offense um and it also kind of limits our offense because when he's on the field the defense knows that we're probably not going to run the ball and we're probably going to pass the ball now you could say with most receiving backs that's not really an issue you know um but with theoretic it pretty much means he's going out for a pass because theoretic's not a great blocker um and a lot of teams know that so that pretty much means Whoever's blitzing doesn't really have to worry about Theo Riddick blocking them, um, so they can just have a free shot at the quarterback. Um, and I think that's pretty much one of the biggest reasons why the Lions wanted to move on. Um, I think if he was a if he was a much better blocker, this this would have been a better, much easier decision to keep him. But um, considering the fact he's not a great blocker and he really hasn't improved in six seasons uh, in the NFL, it just kind of makes sense to move on. You know. He's basically, he's basically like a receiver playing in the backfield and, you know, can't block. Um, all he really does is go out to catch swing passes um, and run angle routes and stuff that stuff like that. Does a very good job of it, um, but he also doesn't play special teams. He's not really a good kick returner, punt returner, um, anything like that. Doesn't add any other value to the team other than a third down running back who goes out for passes but can't block. Now, I actually was thinking about making this video today before this news dropped just because um, I had this idea of, you know, I kind of thought we were going to cut him and I was wondering, you know, what 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 kind of role would he have in the NFL if we actually cut him? And now that we actually have cut him, I guess we can kind of talk about that. So I think a guy like Theo Riddick would have a very good opportunity to make it on a team that needs help at receiver, you know. Um, I could look at a team like possibly the Saints, you know, maybe the Patriots, maybe uh, maybe the Chiefs, something like that. That need they need help at actually receiver, not at running back. Um, and I think theoretic could maybe add some value to that team just playing slot receiver. And that's because you know when from what I've seen, when we put uh, theoretic in the slot, a lot of times he does a pretty good job, you know, just getting off man coverage, you know, and beating guys on quick routes, quick outs, quick ins. You know double moves he can do all those kinds of things um and he has pretty quick feet uh definitely has a hip, fl hip flexibility i think to play slot receiver so i think it would make a lot of sense um if he wants to stay in the nfl and you know become a productive player for another team he probably should consider moving to receiver full time um instead of playing running back as just a receiving back who can't block you know because i think a lot of other teams are going to look at it just like the lions did uh, reports are that the Lions actually tried to trade him pretty much the entire offseason, could not find anybody to give them anything, that's why they cut him. Um, and he wasn't making that much money, so I think it would make a lot of sense for him to, you know, move to slot wide receiver. And I think if he does that, he might have a lot of success in this league. And yeah, when he gets in the open field, he does a very good job of, you know, making guys miss. You know, he has really sick juke move. Um, he, I mean, he's really good in the open field, so... I think uh, slot receiver would just make a lot of sense to me. And I know there's some fans that are saying, uh, you know, the Lions basically tried him at receiver last year, didn't work. Well, I would tell you, uh, Theoretics basically played, well, let me check. Okay, so basically Theoretic has played about 80 NFL games and he played one game 
as a starting NFL wide receiver. It didn't work out. I mean, that just kind of makes sense. You know, the rest of his NFL career, he was playing running back. Um, I think if he went into a camp at, at receiver, you know, actually worked at, you know, the drills and like trying to work on actually being receiver instead of a running back the entire year, I think that would have, he would have a lot more success uh, in terms of being a receiver. And also if he went to a team like the Saints, you know, I think, I just think that would make a lot of sense, you know, because they know how to use slot receivers. Um, same thing with the Patriots. You know, teams like that, they need, you know, they, they need help by receiver. And I think it would make a lot of sense for a guy like Theo Riddick to try and make it on the team. You know, he might not even play this year, but there's a chance down the road he might create a pretty good opportunity for himself to make some more money. And yeah, I would like to say, uh, you know, Theo Riddick has been one of my favorite players to watch over the past few years. Uh, honestly, ever since he's been in the league you know really that second year it looked like but he finally started going to him in the passing game um you know he's been a very entertaining player as a Lions player to watch but also sometimes frustrating because you knew when he got on the field that it was going to be probably a screen pass or a swing pass or something like that and he probably wasn't going to do job do a good job of blocking if they were going to ask him to do it um and I think you know it just kind of made sense to move on there at the end so yeah it looks like Probably on the roster this year at running back, it's going to be Carryon Johnson, CJ Anderson, and then Ty Johnson, uh, because we did draft him, um, so it's probably not likely to cut Ty Johnson. And then Zach Zinner probably could have an opportunity to make the team. Uh, Zach Zinner does a pretty good job in special teams. And yeah, it looks like currently Ty Johnson is going to be competing for the kick returner spot as well as uh, Jamal Agnew. I think Jamal Agnew probably has that locked up as long as he's healthy. He was really, really good the last couple years. Uh, pretty much a game changer anytime anytime he has an opportunity to make a play and he gets some blocks it looks like he pretty much does it um, so I think Jamal Agnew is probably going to be the guy that we're keeping there but yeah that's pretty much what I have for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it um, and we will catch you in another Lions video hopefully very soon